good evening, guys, or good morning, or good afternoon. Uh, I have been asked to address a couple of things when it comes to starting your history fair uh, projects. Um, I'm going to talk about just a couple of things about how to just do a quick annotated uh, bibliography. Uh, by no means am I a language arts or a librarian expert or your teacher, but I'm going to show you technically how to get something set up real quickly. But I would truly advise you guys to talk to your teachers, your English teacher, your social studies teacher, and your librarian for the extra help. So obviously, you know, we're going to set everything up in the Google Drive and you're going to open up your Google Docs. But one thing I want to show you is a section on your Google Docs that's called add-ons. Okay, so you want to click on add-ons and you want to go to get add-ons. When you go to get add-ons, something's going to pop up. A whole bunch of different little Google apps, if you will. Okay, you, what you want to look for is something that's called EasyBib. Okay, and EasyBib is going to help you quickly set up your uh, annotated bibliography um, so you can move on and uh, research spend more time researching okay so obviously mine is already checked because I've already picked it so I'm gonna exit out so if yours isn't already checked just go ahead and you can click on let's say I'll click on this table of contents down here I'll click on free it is free and it will add to your document okay so I'm gonna exit out and it's going to automatically pop up. There's going to be a little box that tells you that it's added to your Google Drive. So every time you open up a Google Doc document in your Google Drive, it should already be in there. Okay? You're going to go to Add-ons. And then as you can see, it will say Easy Bib Bibliography Creator. Okay? And then you're going to go to Manage, Manage Bibliography. Okay? If you still don't see it there, you probably want to go to your Manage Add-ons to see if it's in the add-on section and you can easily have it in your add-ons tab okay so we're gonna go back to easy bib bibliography creator manage bibliography and as you see it says working at the bottom okay and it's gonna give you some options on the side to cite a source you can look for it by book journal article or website and just like you would in the library you can look for it by the ISBN number keywords or subjects or just the title or even the author Okay, so let's say I'm doing my project on watches. Okay, uh, and I want to, I found some information, I found some books on watches that I want to use as my source. Okay, so one of the subjects I'm going to put in the search uh, bar is watches. Okay, and you see a whole bunch of selections here. Okay, so let's say, oh, I found my book, David Thompson. Museum 2007 British watch watches. I click on select And when I click on select it already has it preset up uh, In my bibliography, okay, so all I got to do is decide do I want this in MLA? Format APA format and Chicago and if I'm not mistaken, I think you guys are doing MLA So you just click the MLA button and if I'm wrong you just go and switch to APA when it switch to APAs, as you can see, it automatically switched, so there's no guesswork. Chicago, it switched again, so there's completely no guesswork with this. So you click on MLA, and then you click on Add to Bibliography to Doc. Okay, and as you can see, it automatically popped up. There was completely no guesswork with that, you guys. The only thing that you would have to change is your work cited to annotated bibliography, okay? So annotated bibliography, okay? And as you see, I misspelled it because it's underlined, so I can just right click, change that, and it's spelled correctly. No, no fuss, no mess, okay? So let's say, okay, well, I want to find some other books, or I found some other topics on um, watches. Let's just say I have a chance that you found a great quote about a watch in... Harry Potter that goes with the research. I don't know how that's going to fit in, but let's just say we find it. So another book is Harry Potter. We click on search. And here's all the information 
uh, about Harry Potter and or about the author. So let's say, okay, I found my book, Lego Harry Potter Building the Magical World. Maybe they had something in there about a watch. I don't know. You click select. Okay, and look, as you can see, the bibliography is already built in in your cited source. It's already ha it already has it in alphabetical order. Okay, again, no guesswork. You click add bibliography to doc. And as you can see, it automatically puts it in alphabetical order in your Google Docs. So again, there is no guesswork to this. Okay, let's do one more book. Let's do, um, we'll say Watches in History. I don't know if that's a book or not, but we're going to try it. Watches in History. Okay, so they give us a lot of stuff. Let's say, oh, well, this is the book I'm looking for, Watches in Color. I'm going to press Select. And again, it's already in the order that I need need for it to be in alphabetical order, MLA format. All I got to do is press Add Bibliography to Doc. And it already pops up automatically. No fuss, no mess, good to go. Okay, so let's say that we have all of our work cited already put together. You got you guys, uh, I'm sorry, your annotated bibliography already put together. You want to go ahead and you write your information about why you're choosing this particular book. You're good to go. Okay, so let's say, oh, well, I don't really want to use um, David Thompson's watches. I don't like that one. Okay, so you're going to click X. Okay, that brings it back down to your two articles, and you can see here that you still have your three sources here. We're, we're trying to get rid of that David Thompson, correct? So we can do one or two things. We can try add to bibliography, and it disappears. It already updates itself for you. Okay, so even when you exit out of this document, really cool. You can open it back up, go to your. Um, Easy Bib Bibliography Creator, manage, bibli manage Bibliography, sorry guys, and then it still has your updated information. Already ready to go, no fuss, no mess. Okay, so that's how you would do an annotated bibliography within, excuse me, within uh, Google Docs. Another cool feature when you're starting to do your research, you guys, is this. Okay, so you can click on Tools, Research, and as you can see, without you guys having to go into another tab to research in Google, you can, uh, you can click on this and you have information on watches from Google. So again, you guys do not have to go to another tab. Again, you go to Tools, research and it pops up on the side if you're looking for specific images quotes dictionary tables everything you need is going to be right here it's a no fuss no mess okay so let's say I click on images okay here's all the watches that we need um, for images okay and again I'm gonna talk about um, copy a little bit about copyright stuff when it comes to uh, online stuff later if not your library and well so let's say I'm going to drag this watch on our page. It automatically adds it. And as you can see, there's a one on the side, you guys. Okay, if you scroll down, it gives a footnote of where that information can be found. It's really cool. I really like that. Um, you can do the same thing with um, videos. If you happen to find a YouTube video that you like, you can do the same thing. Uh, the Easy Bib Bibliography doesn't do that. So you're going to have to uh, cite the source uh, yourself. Okay. So the last thing that I want to talk about really quickly is how to upload your pictures on to the Google Drive. Okay. So let's say we're going back to our Google Doc. The first thing that you really want to do is you want to press create and folder. Okay. The new folder pops up. You want to call it whatever you want to call it. Say I'm going to call it pictures. Okay. So I call it pictures and I press create. All right. 
And right now I have this in my music program folder, but let's pretend that it automatically sets in drive. Okay, you really have to see in in your Google Drive where where it's gonna uh, be placed. You can always try to drag it and put it back into the drive. Okay. So when you put it back into the drive, it automatically pops up in your uh, drive section. Okay. So once you have it in your drive section, I'm gonna click on pictures, and now I can add any pictures that I want. So let's say that I have a picture on my own flash drive. Because sometimes we just have to use our flash drive, right? So I already have my flash drive plugin, and I already know what pictures I want to add. So I'm going to go to my computer, okay? Obviously I'm on a Mac, so it's going to be a little bit different. But you're going to go to my computer on a Mac, it's Finder. You'll just drag the pictures into uh, that folder. Okay, so I'm dragging them into the folder and they automatically upload. Okay, so now I have my pictures already in my Google Drive ready to use. Okay, so again, they're here ready to go. You can always um, go, go back into your document and if you need to insert a picture, you can go to image. Okay, and then you go through your Google Drive, and then you can find your images wherever you're, uh, wherever you place your photo. So again, here's my picture tab. Okay, and when I click on the pictures, when I click on pictures, there are the pictures that I need. I select what I want. I'll select Adam Levine, select, and his picture pops up on the page. So real simple, you guys. So those are the two tips that I have for you today. So if you have any questions, feel free to look for me. You guys know where I'm at. And always ask your teachers and your librarian for help. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.